local team scores and highlights. Brought to you exclusively by Hiller's Flooring America. What's going on, sports fans, and welcome to Sports Extra. March Madness is in full swing here in southeastern Minnesota as we join you for our last Sports Extra of the winter sports season. I'm Julian Mitchell alongside Sports Director Mark Palos. We got you covered from Caledonia to Lyle tonight, but we begin tonight's show in Stewartville. Two seed Stewartville hosting seven seed Chatfield in section one double A quarterfinal action. First half, the Gophers came out and punched Stewartville right in the mouth. Reed Johnson sinks a three ball. Chatfield up four later in the half. Cole Johnson got in on the fun. He drives baseline and gets it to go. Chatfield now up five, but the Tigers would come back. Will Cheddar, the Michigan man, gets the bucket plus the foul. Tigers down two, but the Gophers had no intentions of ending their season tonight. Later, Reed Johnson sinks another triple as the Gophers win up six. A few possessions later, the Big Cheese went to work down low again, getting the bucket plus the foul. Tigers back down two, but Chatfield had upset on their minds tonight. Reed Johnson rips the ball away from Cheddar and lays it in as the Gophers show they were not going out quietly in Stourville. But when the dust settled in Tiger Nation, Stourville holds on in double overtime to an 85-77. Will Cheddar not on the floor there for the two extra periods. He had 27 points, Miles Hettinger 20, Reed Johnson 33. But Stourville advances to the semis. Julian. Now in Lake City, Tigers face off against St. Charles for a date with Stewartville. Cooper Vaughn doing what he does best for St. Charles, dancing with his defender, hits the three, Saints up three, then Saints get it inside to Cole Barons. He finishes with a little floater, lead grows to five. Vaughn, whole lot of makes on his shot chart, step back is cash money, leads at eight. Lake City's got to make a move. Looks like this shot is blocked, but we'll call it a pass. Carson Maskey lays it up, leads cut to six. Then Ball finds Keegan Ryan. His triple is true-ish as it bounces around and in. The Tigers on a bit of a run. Justin Rollers puts it on the deck, goes up strong, and finishes. Lead is cut to just four. Lake City on a run at the end of the highlight. Lake City ends the game on a run. 7-0 run to win this one. 61-60 over St. Charles. Cooper Vaughn, 37 points in the loss. Now to the girls' side. Mayo looking to get back to the Section 1-4A title game, hosting... 2C Lakeville South will pick it up in the second half. Spartans down one, but not for long. Anna Miller hits Ellie Collins underneath. She lays it in. Mayo now up one. Two possessions later, Mayo made it a two-possession game. Lindsay Haiti lines up a three ball. It's buckets. Mayo up six. Then later, Mayo turns defense into offense. Haiti with the steal. She finds Mullock. Hamadel Neal on the pass. Sparty now up eight, but Lakeville South would try to get back in the game. Allie Schultz. Sinks a triple. All of a sudden, Cougars down four. But Mayo would respond. Next possession, Hamadel Neal is open beyond the arc. Or three, nothing but the bottom. Then later, Mayo's D1 player would not be denied. Anna Miller takes it all the way to the rack as no one could stop the future Drake Bulldog. Mayo will go to the section title game once again. They beat Lakeville South 71-58. Anna Miller, 23 points. Mullick, Hamadel Neal, 22 points, four threes. They'll face Farmington. Farmington ended JM season, 73-39. Now to girls hockey. The Lord Eagles are going to the state tournament for the third year in a row. They beat Albert Lee, 3-2. Future Boston University Terrier, Maggie Hansel, scored the game winner in a one-on-two situation with eight seconds left. Albert Lee had tied the game with 44 seconds left, but Hansel, big time players, make big time plays in big time games. In double A, top seed of Farmington will represent section one. They beat Lakeville South three to two. Up next, the Caledonia Warriors look to defend their section title once again. We'll see if they could beat Goodhue. Plus, the PEM boys basketball team look to advance to the section one double A semifinals with a win over Lewis and Altura. We'll take you to the dog pound after the break.